Michelle is a Democrat, I'm a Republican running in uh, House District 20. And we came together just to meet as candidates back in early June and we felt that as we talked to each other and got to know each other for a few minutes, out of nowhere, you know, Michelle just looked at me and asked me, you know, do you think Mia actually lives in, Mia Costello actually lives in our district? And I looked at her and I said, oh, I'm like, why, do, why would you think that? And she said, well, I've been campaigning since January in our neighborhoods. And she said, I've driven by numerous times and I just haven't seen any activity there. And I said, well, that's really funny because I know I've just gotten into the race, but I felt the same way. I feel like her neighbors really don't know her. And so together we started kind of canvassing the neighborhood uh, every, you know, during different times of the day, different times of the week, and just seeing if there's any cars, any kids outside. You know, with a family having two children, you would think that you'd see some activity outside their house. And we just feel that she really doesn't actually live in that house. And the fact that she owns two other properties, we feel that she actually lives at one of the others. And we feel as uh, people who are either both running in the district as well as a constituent, we feel that, you know, she should be accountable and if she doesn't live in the district, she needs to either withdraw or at least move into the district for the race. And we're just asking that she prove that she lives in the district. And come Monday morning, we will be filing with the Division of Elections formal paperwork. To? To uh, questioning the fact that she doesn't live in our district. So you'll be filing a complaint? We'll be filing a formal complaint. Mm -hmm.